Now, tempers fled on Sunday when the Minister of Works, David Omai, held a public engagement in the Victoria Island area of Lagos with stakeholders and homeowners whose properties were affected by the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road project. When Omai opened the floor for questions, a woman who identified as a campaigner for President Bola Tinubu during the 2023 election said the coastal road was diverted into her estate in Lagos with all her houses demolished despite having the necessary certificate and authorizations from the government. But the minister accused the woman of mobilizing protests to stop the project, an allegation the pro Tinubu supporter denied. When the woman did not stop speaking after the microphone had been taken from her, the minister said, security, take her in. The minister said the final designs will be produced, insisting that the shoreline belongs to the federal government. The main object is to follow the coastline as much as possible. I said, take all the estate, but give me three acres out of 11 acres. And they are not giving me. Madam, and that was all my husband worked for. Madam, all our estates gone. Three estates gone because of some lawbreakers. What are your technical reasons of avoiding the gazetted route? We can't go by the coastline for overriding public interest. We can't destroy the African, uh, you know, uh, is it African uh, distant uh, network. We cannot destroy the, um, the MTN, you know, line. We have no interest than uh, this. And it's the duty of Mr. President to protect the strategic infrastructure of the federal government. For the madam that said, I came to the point, I said they should do this. I can't remember, but I will be willing to come back to go to the particular point to see what she said. Because if I was ever there, and technically I say, put up, you know, this uh, two meter or one meter, there must be reason for it. But the diversion is irrevocable. I'm sorry about that. Because the importance of people's land there, even undeveloped, this madam's land is totally undeveloped. We are following the law. You can go to court if we infringe on your rights. But please don't take law into your hand. Stop organizing protests. Stop organizing people to stop the work. Can you, can you render our mic to us? I cannot. Security. I can go out. Move her out. Madam, give us, give yourself respect. Most of you, if your wife is not from Yoruba, your wife is from Igbo, some of you. If your wife is not from there, it's from Benin, or maybe from Portacot, where I come from. So we are all one Nigerian. So don't tribalize. This is our good project. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.